This is quite a tricky thing to understand. It's only for students doing the higher tier. So here we have particles and they're arranged in a solid. And as you know, particles in solid are vibrating slightly, but they're not vibrating very much. And here we have our electron and that's what's going to be flowing through and it needs to wiggle its way through all of these different particles and that's how electrical charge flows. The current needs to flow through the, the particles so it can get to the other side. Now as the um, current is flowing through the particles it's going to lose some energy as heat it's going to be transferred to the particles and these are going to start moving more and more and more but the electrical current still has to find its way through as it's vibrating the problem that we come across is while these are vibrating so much due to the heat energy they've gained the electrical current still has to find its way through and this is really hard for the electrical current to do if the particles are vibrating crazily all over the place. They they bump into things, they can't get around them. Something was there one minute or one second and then it's in a different place. So it's a lot, lot harder for the, the current it, electrons to get through. So the resistance increases. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.